so if you are doing any kind of posting on social media then obviously you need images and you need sometimes you might want an image with a with your your logo on it or you want an image with with some text on it other times you might just do you know post to the sunset that kind of stuff which I do too but today we're going to talk about creating images for your social media using a tool called canva now there's a free tool you can actually pay for an, an upgrade I use just the free version uh, but we're going to show you how to do a couple things in there maybe some Instagram maybe some Facebook posts maybe some cover photos I don't know we'll see how much uh, we can get done in this um, and we're also going to show you how to get free images because sometimes you don't have a picture uh, you want to just search for something so we'll talk about those things and so yeah we're going to show you how to create images for your social media posts in just a second <laughs> but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets okay let's go and create images so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to canva.com to set up an account I'm just going to go here and actually I'm going to open up a new incognito window just to kind of show you uh, what the website looks like now there's no affiliate program or anything for that so it's just going to be um I'm just going to be sharing the screen and whatever so don't worry about it you can just go to canva.com c-a-n-v-a dot com and when you get there it's going to show you just a you know like there's there's prices features all sorts of things we're not really going to talk about that I, I'm not really an expert in Canva itself but I know you can do a lot of things and as you can see here there's a lot of things you can do let me just move my webcam down here okay so um first of all you're just going to want to sign up and you're going to want to probably sign up with Google or Facebook or whatever you want uh but I've got an account so I'm just going to log in so I'm just going to close that oops cancel right here I'm just going to log in and oh actually I'm in an incognito so let's go into a real window oops new window and I'm actually going to go to canva.com and I'm going to log in right there okay so canva.com let's just actually let's move this so it fits better on the screen perfect like this there we go so as you can see I'm logged in already right so you can see my picture there whenever you create your account you can actually go and if you click on your you can go to account settings and you can set your oh, I'm not even sure how to can you set your profile picture oh no I think your profile picture is set from whenever you created from the Facebook right or under settings maybe there's a place to do that not sure but anyways that doesn't really matter so now you have a Canva account you want to create a post right so the very first thing you want to do is you can go into um under templates here and you can just say okay I just want to post something in an Instagram post I just click on Instagram post and it shows me the templates for Instagram right so as you can see there's a whole bunch of different things let's say I want to post something like um I don't know let's do this like this a picture right uh use this template so you just click on use template and now it loads up that particular template for you to create a post so in my case so this is some girl right obviously that's not a picture I would necessarily post unless I wanted to use images and things like that so the things you can do in Canva first of all the first thing you do you can do with Canva just use a template and just use it like that and I could even post this exactly like this right and what I what you do with that is you can then go here under download you just say png download and then it gives you this pop-up with this uh you know uh, uh uh, option to save it and it gives you this try canva pro and all you know every time but that's the thing right if it's a free free thing you don't worry about it so then what you do is you just save it someplace on your desktop and now you have the image that you can upload right um okay so that's now what is it that you can do let's say I wanted to create let's say I wanted to create a brand new completely brand new if I go back to home here let's just go back to home let's say I wanted to create a brand new image for um 
let's say uh let's say I want to create an image for my uh, podcast a thumbnail for my podcast so I know the podcast is basically an, an Instagram image I can use the Instagram template I can just go in and by the way you don't have to click on the template thing you can you can actually scroll down here and just look at the different things let's say I want to create an Instagram post it's right here um you can also say just a brand create your own I believe where is that under home no create oh just create a design right here right you just click on create a design next to your and you then you can just say custom dimension or whatever you want uh if I just go to Instagram post it tells me 1080 I'm just going to do that so that creates a blank Instagram formatted post right so now what do I what can I do in here I can go into uh, photos and I can go into say computer let's say what can I use I don't know let's go for nature I can take any of these pictures and there's some of them that you see the ones that have a little a little um, icon on them pro right that means that they're not free that means that you, you would have them if you were on the on the pro plan but all the ones that don't have that are free so I can just go and take this and just drag it over here right as you can see I just drag it now it's going to be right on the on the Canva like this if I wanted to fill the screen I just re I just make this full size I don't I want it to fill the whole thing there you go so now is my now is the picture it as you can see it's it's full size it fits the whole box of the Instagram post okay so now I want to do I don't know let's go let's say I want to add some text I go to text and I'm going to add this here just this this thing here uh, just like that oh actually well, I didn't have to do that uh, delete okay so now this is the one I I had there I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say um, course income secrets podcast okay so that's pretty big so I'm just going to resize the font I'm going to make it smaller right down here I'm just make it 21 that's much that's too small but I can go here and make it I don't know 72 now this is not really what I want but at the same time I'm just kind of showing you some of the way it works right so then if I go in here I can do anything I want in text I can just say um uh, it's it's look it's pretty amazing what you can do right imagine if you like me I don't I don't spend enough time in here right there's so much stuff you can do any of this text I can just click it and it just adds it to there it's going to show up on the screen I can just resize that to a different size if I want let's say let's say 88 game on and I can move it you see you just whenever you uh if you're mousing around you can see that your mouse when you're on top of something you can do something with it sh it highlights so you can select it and then you can do things like uh, position the text you can fill the text you can have uh, there's all sorts of different things you can do uh, you can change the font the board the big the yeah you can change the font it's these are the fonts right there right um the size like you saw the color I can change the color to be you know a different color if I want I can make it bold or less bold underline the italic all those things and under effects I'm not sure I guess that's yeah so I can change the effects here as you can see they change neon there anyway so that's what that so that's that's kind of stuff and you can make like see you look at something like this it's got two different fonts right so if I click it it'll add it to my picture my picture here just a second is it not adding it oh there you go so you can see there's two di oh I did add it twice okay so you can always click on that little delete thing if you if like if you do like me and add them more than one time right so as you can see there's two different two different fonts inside of here right this is this is uh let's make this green this one here let's make it more like a red there you go see there's two separate fonts they're grouped together so you can have and you can you can invent those yourselves right I could actually go in here and I can just go and create some text I can just say add uh click text click text to add all oh, right okay I can just say I want to add some text where is it I can only go here I just want to add uh, any text I don't have to add any of these 
um, I can add a heading like this and this is going to be my with Jean Serge Gagnon. all right so that's my text that I put in here and you know I can choose the font and I can change the size to be 36 and I can change the color to be it doesn't really matter right whatever uh, let's make this some blue there's the blue you can also fill the background I believe that's what you do no I don't know what that is um effects no there's a you can f somehow fill that let's see no oh, position yeah so there's like I said anyways there's lots of stuff you can do it's insane how much stuff you can do with um I don't know why my that's something I don't okay so let's say I have this let's put that there I just say w like that actually that color is not good right let's change the color to let's make it just black right course income secrets podcast as you can see if you resize this it doesn't change anything in the in the text right because oh you can do that like this right course income secrets okay so now I have this uh image that I can resize that down here game on good vibes and then there you go so now let's say I want to add an image of me on this right so I'm going to go into photos and you'll see I actually have some uploads so let's go into uploads you can upload a new picture if you want and uh, what you do is you just uh, upload image uh, or video like that and then you choose your your computer and then you just go find a picture right so that's one thing the other thing is if you already have it uploaded from the past you can just choose it so in this case I'm going to choose this one I'm going to add it right here and I'm just going to put that right there and anyway so that's obviously not you know and uh, that's not you know what I would want to use for this but this is an ex gives you an example right of how to create a post with tags with everything on there move things around resize things you can do this you can also um you can do lots of other really crazy things background for example right here uh, I'm not sure if I can do that on a I haven't really done that can I do that no that changed the whole background the whole thing I can control z to cancel ignore that change I just made what I wanted to do is I wanted to apply a background to this but I don't not really sure but the way I, the way I do it is if I want a background on this and not the image I'm just going to use a there's shapes you can use right I'm just going to use a standard rectangle right here I'm going to make this the size I want it it can be a whatever you can resize it whichever way you want just like this right so I can put it right there and the default I guess is it's behind the text so but you could you could have you it could have been changed right D done differently and let's just change the color of this thing I don't want it to be that color let's make it black there we go so there so now I have that image right there uh game on let's uh, let's change that to uh to my text that I have in in here let's so uh learn the let's uh, let's resize that a little bit that's a bit too big make it uh, 28 learn the oops what is it that I you know where I said learn the uh techniques techniques strategies and tools oh uh, so let's just say the techniques strategies and tools you need to learn to generate residual residual income from the e-learning boom that is happening right now 
okay so what uh, the question the, the question is the real question is what are there we go okay so I'm going to resize that that's a bit too big still let's make it 21 is this there so that's what I say right in my let's put the good vibes someplace else good vibes real question is this and let's just move it down here now as you can see you also get these lines that kind of help you to align things so it, it shows you you know these lines are re re representative of centers and position the you know center of this center of this picture right it'll show me a center of the picture or the end of the other thing anyway so those lines kind of help you to align things so I'm just going to put another shape here uh you can use like all sorts of different things right there's a whole bunch of different things here if I just go to the shapes see all the regular shapes there's a whole bunch of different things I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to resize it to be like this like that move it down here and resize it down there size it down there there so now whoops so now I have the the real question is this and all this stuff in there and, and and now I have an image so now this is what I'm saying you click on the download right there and you can choose png or you can do jpeg if you want or pdf or other things but um, the pdf is usually fine especially for a post on like Instagram now, I'm not going to use this I just kind of want to give you an idea of how to create an image now let's say you want to create a cover photo and you want to use a picture that's you want to find a really nice picture there's a place I go to which is called uh unsplash there's a couple of different sites unsplash.com is another site that has free things so unsplash.com let's say I want to use a picture travel picture I mean you can just scroll through these things you can use all these and uh let's say I want to search I can actually search for something right so um top of mountain so now I can search for these things that are top of mountains right pictures of tops of mountains and then I can just I can search for all sorts of things I can search for uh uh course course these are course pictures I can use these in my course posting things right <clears throat> or I can search for say learning learning and I love to learn look at that so I can take this picture so the way it works is if I find a picture I want to use I can just save it so you go on here and I just go here I click on the little download icon whoops let's move it up a bit click on the little download icon right there and it saves it to my computer it asks me where I want to save it let's just go into my uh, downloads just put it in downloads downloads so I'm just going to save it right there okay so now I have it saved from unsplash I go back to here and I'm just going to go back to the top the beginning let's just close this and let's say I want to create a cover photo a cover photo for my Facebook I go here create design Facebook post Facebook cover there you go I'm just going to go create Facebook cover it's going to be blank but it's going to be the right size so now I'm going to upload and there's a, there's a whole bunch of uh, examples right so let's just say I want to uh, let's use this one let's use this one which is a default and then I want to change the background I'm going to upload a new this new image I don't know if I guess it'll from my downloads the one I just did this one here so it's going to upload that while we're watching and oh I forgot about this here let's just uh, Uh, so while it uploads let's just give it a second here okay so 
um let's just take this image now it's there right I want it to fit fill the whole screen and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna resize it until the screen fills so love to learn oops actually I can't I got to do this like this so obviously if you have a picture that fits better in the in the what you're doing that's better so let's just uh, move this horizons here to someplace else move it to the top let's let's just change that to Jean Serge Gagnon. and that's anyway so and but whatever you do this lets you create an image that's the right size right so I can put whatever text I want I can I can post pictures and do whatever I want with uh you know I can change the picture to something else it doesn't really matter you can do all sorts of different things like my expert secret books right there let's put let's put that one there <laughs> that is me right there but those aren't those aren't my those aren't my books they're Russell Brunson's books right but that's so that's how you create a cover photo you can do that what else can you do uh, in canva so there's text videos background folders so you can organize things in folders right uh, you can create folders if you're in the canva pro uh, um, like I said under templates so now the other thing the other thing you can do which I which I guess they had before because I remember doing it oh no 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 I know what happened I I did try canva pro for 30 days or whatever when I first started and I was when you do canva pro you can actually create so you can create something like if I go to my designs uh, I just go to my designs where do where do you see that where do you see my design all your designs right there so all my designs the ones I created that I used that I did in canva you can see I have this cover photo which I'm gonna have to change pretty soon but I have this cover photo that I did in um using their their resize thing right so this one here I did that with that right and what what you do is you just go you just go to where can I go back to my designs oh well let's say I load this is one thing I did with this let's say I load this design up here you see how I have a whole bunch of different things I got this text here I got this text here I got this image this image this image this image and then that image in the background right and that's a certain size for a particular format right canva has a new editor okay so I guess that's the old ed editor it's an old uh, design open a new editor let's do that your design needs to be converted before using we'll do our best to make sure it's perfect but if you see any issues you know, use browser back button for making your changes oh, okay open well I don't know if I want to do that does it doesn't really matter I don't I don't that's fine okay so this is a copy of it with the new editor apparently there's a different there are differences anyways the point is that I have an a, I have an image here that I created a certain size right if you click on the resize and you're paying for uh canva uh pro or the free 30-day trial they have right what it'll, what it'll do is it'll create for you a new mock-up of the different kinds of images you might want you might want to have a Facebook a, a Twitter and you like right there Instagram LinkedIn and then a, others like a, a WordPress blog header uh, you might want to have all sorts of different things and that lets you do that with this right and then I'm not going to do it right now but the thing is that instead of me going and just going in here and changing the file I want to change it uh, where's the can I thought you could change the so you can't really resize there's a yeah so the other option is for you which is what I did for some of the other ones because I didn't pay for the canva is you can create a new what you do is you create a new design right and you create say I want to create a LinkedIn banner it's a certain size right so in this as you can see the LinkedIn banner is not the same size as uh, where is it right here no so let's let's just close all the other ones 
this one and this one let's close this one close this one okay so now I have my my original one which was a I, I guess this must have been a group post one so I can just take this and I have to do it all manually right I have to take this control c go back to here paste it here now I have this image I'm gonna have to make this image fit down here so let's just there you go right then I go back to the other one I gotta copy this over here paste it here make this a little bit bigger go over here there's a there's actually a background underneath that too this this background oops where is it not there the background so that's the thing right I got to go in here and I got to put everything on um, here's the other thing as you can see right there that is not on top so that I want to do this I want to send backward now the text is on top so there's a that's what they call the order of things right if I take this I paste that in here again it's text without a background let's move that move the text a little bit get that background out of there get this background out of there as you can see it's a it's kind of a bit of work right to do all that I want to post that here Post that on top, move, move, bring forward. I want it to be on top. And this one's not big enough. Put it right there. Put that there. Then go back to here, copy this other box. Bring that box over here. Paste it in here. Send backwards. Uh, where's the text? Move that over here. Move that like that. And there we go. Resize this one a bit. Size it a bit. So now, oh, that little box needs to go up. Mm, let's move the text out of there. and I go back to the other one now I gotta take I can do control oh is it shift shift like this for all these images and I'm gonna go back here and paste them all at the same time right they're all pasted at the same time I can also resize them all at the same time I can move them down here just like that and it kind of gives me a very similar picture as the other one there you go but as you saw it was a whole bunch of manual editing manual copying going back and forth and all this stuff but that's kind of how you use canva if you want to use canva to generate uh copy things you you might want to use the pro uh like I said it's not an affiliate program so I don't get anything from you getting the pro although maybe there is an affiliate program but anyways it doesn't matter uh, so yeah so that's how you use canva to create images for your social media posts that's some of the little things you do it's uh it is a pretty complex platform it is a pretty complex thing that you can use to create your um use to create your uh where's my I want to go back here go back to home all my designs so yeah so that's that's canva canva is one of the tools that is free that you can do some really cool things with it and why am I moving all this because when I record my video I want to have I want to make sure I have a thumbnail that's moving and that's kind of what I do with with the with the whole thing uh, that's why I'm scrolling up and down and showing you kind of all this the different things I did Bit, look at that I was in the bitcoins a couple of years back I did a lot of bitcoin stuff and now I'm more into courses online stuff teaching you how to do things and that's what this is all about canva how to create posts to post on social media or images with text and all this pretty stuff you can even do a pdf uh, an ebook in the in here which I did by the way there's a couple of ebooks in here that I did right in canva and so yeah so that's how you use canva to create images for your posts all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a wonderful day
This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.